What's going on guys? I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to check out some Gran Turismo Sport Racing. We're going to do a Sunrise Race at Dragon Trail Seaside in the Mazda Vision GT car, which is just absolutely crazy fast. Let's go check it out. If you'd like to see videos from Gran Turismo Sport every single week, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. kind of crazy to be coming through a corner in fourth gear and it still feels like you can't go any lower than that. But yeah, this this car has eight gears, I believe. It's so low to the ground that we're all just sparking it up. We get crazy fast acceleration, crazy fast cornering, and really good brakes. I'm not familiar with this car, it's actually the first race I've ever done with it because I won it in one of the uh, daily daily workout challenges. But it seems to me like kind of like an LMP1 on steroids. Yeah, we're just like slicing through these corners. So much fun to go this fast through the corners though, I gotta say that. And these couple of corners coming up here are pretty interesting with these huge rumble strips. Ah, just grazed that wall there. We'll try to catch back up to this guy. If you like Gran Turismo Sport and want to see more video content from this game, I'll go ahead and link an online race that I recently did with the Group 3 cars in the official Sport Mode Daily Races up in the card at the top right of the screen. I highly recommend giving that one a watch. These Vision GT cars are super futuristic on the inside. It's kind of cool. It's a nice change from the normal, like, doing your Group 3 races and your road car races. Nice to do this every once in a while and just kind of get a little bit more futuristic, a little bit more science fiction-y. If you had free creativity, or a free range of creativity and an unlimited budget of, to create a crazy car, maybe this is what would come out of it. Still sparking it up. Yeah, they slow down quite a bit in that corner. You need to catch back up. You might be able to do some passing in the next lap there. Squeeze by you there. Man, I took that turn way too wide. That'll happen though when you don't practice with the car beforehand. I will be doing more races in this thing, so I'll get better with it in time. That is a fourth gear turn. you. Coming in hot this turn, full speed ahead. But you can also do both of these in fourth. And then coming up to this right hander, you can take it in sixth. I seem to do a little bit of a power slide there, but just come in hot and then go straight onto the brakes. But don't do that. Don't do what I did. Try to cut in tight to kind of get around this guy and just run straight into the wall. That's not how to do it. Yeah, that was bad right there. So I'm about to slow down. Lose my pace through these turns. This is a very much a rhythm section. Kind of like the, those S's in Suzuka that some of you might be familiar with. And this is, alright, you come out of your rhythm. Alright, we got to make sure you're still focused. Come down to this slow turn here. Don't go running into the wall. These are also rhythm turns. If you hit the rumble strips just right, you can stay going pretty fast. Oh man, I got so lucky that I didn't hit the wall again there. Well, we made it all the way up to third. We started, what, like 11th or 12th? That was a pretty good race. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. If you'd like to see Gran Turismo content every week, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon down below so you don't miss out on anything. 
Once again, I'm Daniel. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.